For this factoring problem, we will begin by pulling out the greatest common factor, the 5. Now, we see that the 2 coefficient of the j squared term means that it can either, it'll have to be 2j and 1j. And now we just need to figure out the coefficient of the k variable in the binomials. So we have two options, either 8 and 1 and 4 and 2. Now the 2 is going to pretty much multiply with one of those numbers. So what that means is we'll have these possibilities. Either the 2 can multiply with the 8, and then you'll get 16 and 1, the 1, and get 8 and 2. It'll multiply with the 4, you'll get that, and then the remaining pairs. And now we want to see which one has a difference of 15. So notice the 16 and 1 have a difference of 15. So now we need the 2 to multiply with the 8. So it has to go in that last binomial. And we can see with the signs, one needs to be positive, one needs to be negative, and that'll be the final factored version right there.